Hiya. Want to learn how to draw? Well, so do I. The fine process to learn how to draw everything has begun and will run from now until the fall or later. Detailing how I used to draw, how I'm drawing, and how I want to draw, as well as my future aspirations as an artiste and more. After spending the last years practicing and researching, and mainly learning simply how to sketch in the first place, long ago, to reach my goals as an artist, I came up with a plan I called the process to learn how to draw everything. But I couldn't commit to it. But I think I got a handle now on the main thing you need to succeed in life. is self-discipline. Art is not easy. And there are short- So now I'll be taking it super duper seriously. And let me explain. I've already learned how I like to sketch and a small grasp of the fundamentals. So instead of focusing on those specifically, I aim to draw everything in my own style because I need to for my projects and goals. And the calendar breaks down like this. Videos will still be weekends and Wednesday, eyes, noses, ears from every angle, all types of hair and facial details. Finalizing how I will draw the facial style for Color Wars, because in the background, I will be working on a comic book that will release at the end of it. Moving on, hands, feet, arms, legs, and how they connect to the body and the muscles. Bodies, 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 torsos of all nature, from the physically fit to the physically decrepit or the small infances on gestures throughout the month. Fabrics, surfaces, and the inner working of twine is finalizing my how to draw humanity with poses and perspective, drawing people, but not just people and people in places. It's one thing to draw a person, but can you draw a person in the environment? Ooh. So perspective will also be like a highlighted key feature drawing animals, the gestures of animals, of all nature. By then I don't know how many I'll build up because I have a few books about zoology and I find them fascinating. There's probably going to be a lot of lizards, fur, ape fur, dog fur, cat fur, otter fur, etc. Birds. And whatever else has feathers that's not a bird. Lizards. Because scales are the feature that they have. But also fish. Well, I learned from making Days in the Void that drawing architecture last is definitely a mistake <laughs> when working on a time-framed comic. So I will spend the entire month focusing on drawing architecture, landscapes, and beaches, all the sand. And then I'll be working on architecture, world building, mountain ranges, and she mountains, and caves, tree lands, and swamps, civilization, and waterways. A concept overview of my favorite architectural design. So please, stay tuned, follow along. I'll be drawing a lot more, uh, you know, because I'm making a comic and animations, but I'll also be live streaming here on Saturdays or Sunday to keep up with logs, keep you guys informed of all the stuff, because I think you should give away more free than you do for paid, but you should also, <laughs> if you can't, financially support me. Have a nice day, and a kuruma